Go to the Start menu. Scroll down to the SolidWorks folder and click on SolidWorks. Once loaded, we are going to create a new part. So in this case, to create a new part, we're going to go up to File, New, click on the part, it is highlighted in blue, and click OK. By default, a Quick Tips window is shown on the lower right hand corner. Most of the time, we want to remove this off of the screen. So let me show you how to do that. First, let's go up to Help. And then next to Quick Tips, there's a check mark. We just want to click that off and we'll uncheck that. And our window goes away. Now let's talk a little bit about the part screen and go over the different areas. First, the menu bar has the traditional commands. The standard toolbar has icon shortcuts to the most commonly used commands. The command manager has multiple tabs to access context sensitive commands. The left panel has multiple tabs, but you'll only need to use the leftmost icon, the feature manager. The main area is the graphics area, and this is where we do the most, most of our work. The graphics area is the main work area. At the top of the graphics area is the heads up view tool. This has commands to change the view in the graphics area. In the bottom left hand corner of the graphics area is the triad. This shows how the graphics area is oriented. I will cover useful commands in each section as we continue. But first, I would like to cover the feature manager in more detail. The feature manager keeps track of all of the features in your part. Right now we don't have any features in our part, but we do have a few items in the feature manager. At the very top is the name of our part. In this case, it's our default part name, part one. The next two items, sensors and annotations, are beyond the scope of this video and we will not discuss them here. Next is material. You can set the material from a list of standard material types. This will change the look of your part. It will also set some of the material properties that can be used to calculate weight or center of gravity of your part. We do not need to set the material, but you can if you'd like. The next three are reference planes, the front plane, top plane, and right plane. We will use these in a little bit. And the last item is the origin. This is our zero, zero, zero point for our part.